Back then, no one knew what it really was. Newspapers called it the New Way Devil. The Indians even had legends about it going back centuries. Stories of an invisible king, a demon who traveled with the comets returning in the hottest seasons to hunt its favorite prey, human beings. And it was hot that night in New York City, the hottest midsummer ever recorded, when Bruno Borgia, god of gangsters, died.
And so it began. This tragedy of two worlds. This epic fall and rise of men and monsters. This story of power, revenge, and unnatural love. The devil had broken the laws of its own kind. It had made its presence known to its prey in a devastating and humiliating way. And worse, it had survived the exposure. We now know that these creatures are nomadic, bound by strict clan loyalties, unbreakable taboos. Disgrace and exile were all this one could expect. Nothing simply ends. The events of that sweltering night in June sent ripples through time. Because in its long absence, we humans had dissected the hunting tools our devil dropped in its haste. And using what we learned, we made ourselves masters of a technology unknown on Earth. We created weapons of our own that we turned against the devils when next they came hunting in the hot season. So they sent it back to atone for the sins of its past and take from us what we had stolen, back to a city grown from the shattered ruins it had left behind. A city of tomorrow overseen by computer intelligence, driven by advanced alien technology and ruled by a dynasty of crime. What once was New Way City had blossomed into Neonopolis, City of Light. Now these shining city facades and mirrored walls of Neonopolis hide deep shadows of their own. We'll never know why the Predator decided to target the servitors first. Perhaps in a downtown cult of sacred killers, with their savage devotion to gods of slaughter and magic, it recognized something all too familiar. A thing, Sam. The body of another man has been found here on the streets, flayed and mutilated. Police experts suspect a ritual motive for the crime. See? Didn't I tell you this was a sign? A sign from the law of darkness. Message in blood from our father Zaraguin, the scorpion god. The Loa sends us blood, blood to make our turf sacred, blood to make us strong. Take up your blades, put on your ghost suits. The enemy hides in the night, but the night belongs to the servitor. Le servitor!
Stand by. So the hunter returned to the hunt. This was a different jungle from that which it had left behind, and the natives had forged new weapons from the hunting gear it had foolishly dropped 100 years ago. I imagine how it must have burned at the devil, having survived a century of whatever hellish exile its kind used as punishment, to be sent back here with only the tools of an unblooded youngster, to have to prove itself all over again. The monster had tracked the ghost-suited killers to their lair. Here would be found the leader of their pack, the Alpha Male. The law of the jungle decreed that only one would walk away from this fight.
blood for the law! The gangs of Neonopolis had no idea they were simply puppets in the grip of an alpha killer from another, harsher world. A super predator who intended to pick them off one by one until the sacred ground was its once again. Dead men are impervious to pain. The drugs they use anesthetize them to all sensation and rewrite their nervous systems to pick up stray radio messages and TV hatchings. They believe in nothing. They live to get high and to die. On this occasion, they had made the mistake of toting black market Prometheus tech weapons, engineered in the laboratories of the Borgia family. Even the fiercest hunter needs a camp to come back to. The Devil's Clan brothers must have had their own ship, still hidden somewhere in our city, and would doubtless have left tracks for one of their kind to follow to their end, if ever they got lost in this concrete jungle. To needlessly panic the herd is a sign of a careless hunter. A century ago, a moment's exposure and hesitation had let the prey turn on the predator with all of the trauma. This time, the rules of the hunt must be obeyed. Stay out of sight until the time is right to strike, then do so with a ruthless purpose. Take only the rightful prey. Dishonor is worse than death. Move well or die. We have an ambulance being raided for drugs in Orsini Green. Be advised, this is not a police zone, and no unit should respond to emergency calls from this area.
special guns. Yeah, I got everything you could need to. Take a look at this truck. Not enough. Need more. Oh, how hard this Prometheus stuff is to get a hold of? Bring more. One hour. Dude, serious? Fuck! robbery money now you can't do this to me no need money take money The trail led here, to an abandoned church, where the dead men lost themselves in drugs and noise. Little did they know that their choice of sanctuary would be their undoing.
make me feel. One by one, they fell before it. The human refuse of Neonopolis were so far beneath its contempt, it must have been like hunting fleas. But the predator had a plan, a grand design to complete. After it delved into the abandoned subway under the church and found the spaceship of its fallen clan brothers, our devil could of course simply have chosen to flee from Earth. I doubt if the thought ever crossed its mind. This hunter was on a mission to restore its honor, and would do so, or die in that time. Listen up! There's blood on the sidewalks and we got the mob on its knees! I say we go up there to the Don's place and we finish the job right here and now. Death to the Don!
When the prey fight amongst themselves, the cunning hunter will turn the situation to his own advantage. The battle machine that one gang had stolen from the police would make a useful battering ram to smash a way into the Don's mansion, provided the defenders did not destroy it first. Unknown to the machine's pilot, a guardian now watched over her progress. Shit. I'm an elderly man, and a big fight's on TV in five minutes. We know how it ends. Gianelli takes a dive in the second. Yo, oh, man, what the fuck is that? The machine had served the devil's purpose, allowing entry to the land of its prey. Now this hall would prove to be the killing ground for both sides.
Things are looking good. The voodoo boys and fucking drug heads are gone. And I heard someone took out old Don Giovanni's whole private island. Yeah, with those pendejos gone, there's a whole lot of business for los matadores to take care of. Hey, it's gonna be the highlight for us from now on. Hey, amigos! Yeah, that's yeah. right! El Hongo saw the decimation of Neonopolis' other gangs as an opportunity. He did not realize it merely meant that he was next on the hit list. With his newfound wealth, he bought himself and his manager's exemption from the pre-dawn curfew that kept the normal citizens off the streets. But that just made it easier for the monster hunting him to stalk its new prey. die along with his boys. So maybe some other servitor survived too. Keep your eyes open. Okay, amigos, let's go do this thing. All the money in the city belongs to us anyway. So let's go make a draw. suited voodoo assholes is after me. I'm going up to the crib. Put the word out. much time. It's almost fucking with us. Warn the dealers to watch out for trouble. Sure thing, jefe. Los Maradores, they are here to stay. Don't you worry about nothing, okay? Hey, hey, it's me. Look, the boss just came in, okay? Looking real jumpy. It looks like someone's not happy with taking over. So keep your eyes open. Anyone gives you any shit, you take them down. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Attention all citizens. The curfew is now lifted. Have a nice day. But now the invisible demon's progress up the food chain of Neonopolis was to bring it face to face with a predator of a different sort, in the form of Bruno Borgia's granddaughter. The man who broke and tamed this city would have been so proud of my dear Lucretia. Madre de Dios, this is bad, very bad. I need to talk to the boss. Ah, Mistress Lucretia. You look radiant as always. Oh, please, don't waste my time with that crap. I call you when I need you, not the other way around. So this had better be good. Ah, uh, okay, well, I took over the dead man's drug business like you told me to, but there's been a little, um, complication. They say on the news, some kind of vigilante. But on the street, they say that... I don't live on your shitty little streets, Hongo. That's what I pay people like you for. Whatever problem you have, you sort it out. You wouldn't be hard to replace, Hongo. The projects and barrios are full of scum who'd murder their own families for a chance at your business. You understand me? See, si, Mistress Lucretia. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, I can do this. No problem. Time to make some money. pieces of you out of the fucking bay. No, it's not my fault, boss. Honest. Look, come on inside. Get a drink, get you some pussy. Whatever you want, it's on me. We can work this out.
It is haunting me. El diablo que hacen los trofeos de hombres. I gotta get somewhere safe. Mistress Lucretia, it's me, El Hongo. I can see that, you fucking moron. What do you want? What is it this time? The gang bosses, everybody, ay madre, they found them hanging, hanging on hooks like animals. El demonio invisible killed them all, and now he wants me. Mistress, I'm begging for your help, please God, in my time of greatest need. El demonio invisible, in the name of screaming shit. I don't have time for these ignorant ghost stories. Someone is screwing with my business. Is that what you're telling me? There's nobody left alive on the streets to do your business, mistress. In the name of God, once again, I beg you. You want me to send the Russians, is that it? I have people here who view murder, torture, and rape. Not as crimes, but as Olympic challenges. Is your problem really important enough to set the machine men loose on it? Mistress, I need what help you got. My matadores are leaving the city like rats. It's el demonio. No demon you'll ever meet is scarier than me, Hongo. I'll help you out. But I won't forget you owe me. Thank you. You hear that drivel, Victor, darling? Get your men down to New Way Field. Find out who's cutting into my action and cut them out. Like a sick bowel. Without anesthetic, Victor. Understand? Yes, they will not pain. Victor, is that... Oh, it's you again. 
I specifically instructed Victor the Chechen and his crew to take care of things. Why haven't they called in? They are all dead! What? The machine men? My lovely Victor? El demonio invisible. He is real, like I said. He comes out of nowhere and cooks men alive with his eyes. He tears the skulls from the shoulders and, and strips the skins of the bodies like coats. Fuck. Just when I thought I could walk away from this fucking city. Mistress Lucretia, you got to get me out of here. I've helped make you a lot of big money. I'm a good guy for you. You gotta help me, mistress. Enough. I only like to hear strong men beg, Hongo. Lucky for you, there is a way out. Get your pathetic ass down to the old docks. There's a black market trading depot there. You know the one. It's run by the working girls. Ex-porn star hookers, right? This could be turning into the greatest night of my life. They work for me now, Hongo. So just ask for Baby Blue when you get there. Now, there's a big shipment of black market Prometheus weapons going out tonight, and security is laced up tight. I can guarantee you'll be safe down there. But this is your last chance to do right. Understand? Mistress Lucretia sent me. You don't look like you can afford my time, honey. Looks can be deceptive, baby. I got money, dollars, all you want. But I only got to speak to Baby Blue. Ooh, Baby Blue. You're a guy who knows what you like, ain't ya? See, si. tell her I got all her movies back home. Plus, I know all about the special weapon she made. Well, that's different, honey. You come with me. Let me show you the extra special deluxe package. The Prometheus technology had uses beyond simply making the firearms of the future. Stealth suits, optical camouflage, smart weapons, medical systems, all these and more had been retro-engineered and marketed by Bourgeois Industries. They made as much money from the black market in these goods as they ever did from legitimate trade. And of course they held back a few countermeasures for their own use, to maintain that competitive edge. guards all over this place for her and special shield. I I'd be safe here. You gotta help me, eh? El Diablo himself is hunting me. What he did to my men, you wouldn't believe. What I've done to men, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Don't worry. Lucretia sent you to the right place. Just relax and enjoy. Fuck.
The security system is offline. The intruder was free to roam at will throughout the hunting ground. Ahead lay Lucretia's shipment of Prometheus technology, a cargo hold full of weaponry and equipment and power cells, in a volatile mix just waiting for an accident to happen. smoke huh too bad I was starting to enjoy that as much as you were but something just shorted out my goddamn chameleon suit electromagnetic pulse blew out all the tech and it's here El demonio. it's gonna kill us all and I didn't even get to come cloaking is down electrics are down we can't project our illusions anymore shit there's something out there
Mistress, we, uh, we lost the shipment. I don't know, something happened and, uh, we're still counting the dead. You lost the shipment? I have customers waiting in war zones all around the world, you moron! I have a reputation! I don't know, someone, uh, something got on board the ship and I don't know how it killed so many people. What bastard thinks he can fuck with me like this? I want his head in a box! And as for you, Baby Blue, you lost my shipment. So for that, you're gonna lose an eye. And both of your hands. But it wasn't my fault. Get those drone trucks back to the depot now. Maybe I can salvage something from this fucking mess! Nobody fucks with me. Nobody! See? It's one of them, isn't it? The Xeno Predators you always talk about, like those things we have locked up in the labs. It's magnificent. I've never seen one so strong. A warrior of its clan. Mother was right. The heat brings them to us, like flies into a spider web. What are you talking about? Why is this thing fucking with me? There are some things you don't need to know, sweet Lucretia. Don't you worry about a thing. All animals have their habits, and in habit lies vulnerability.
does it want from me? Imagine deer picked up rifles and turned them on their hunters. That's what's happening here. The Prometheus tech we've been supplying is derived from weapons these creatures left here 100 years ago. We've stolen the secret of fire from the gods. If it wants Prometheus tech, it can bid for it like the Utani Corporation, Wayland Industries, or anybody else. Daddy, we can sell Mother and Prometheus for billions of dollars. You have to let me close a deal here before things get any worse. We could walk away from this shithole forever. Don't even think about it. We built Neonopolis, and it stays in the hands of the Borgia family, understand? You think I'd let you sell Mother to some faceless corporation like Utani? Well, what about Wayland? You were friends with Charles Wayland before he disappeared. W.I. would kill to get their hands on what we have here. Mother's only a goddamn computer system. I want to be rich. I want to be free! You have no idea what you're talking about. Mother is so much more than you know. You're a clever girl, Lucretia. All of this will be yours when I'm gone. But right now, your job is to get the gangs back in gear and the merchandise moving again. Leave the rest of this to Mother and to me. I'll deal with the ghosts. What are they? What have you been doing to yourself in that isolation tank? Neonopolis was built on the ancestral hunting grounds of monsters from another world. As far as they're concerned, we're just game. Just prey. But my father left me this city. And this technology. And here on planet Earth, man is the ultimate predator. That's what Bruno Borgia taught me. It's turf and blood. That's the law of the jungle. Behind all your fancy hotels and your diamond parlors, turf and blood, O'Brien. That's why they all want a piece of Bruno Borgia. In this jungle, I'm the ultimate fucking predator. <laughs> the king of the beasts. I couldn't have put it better myself, Bruno. Now I've got the devil from hell breathing down my neck. I've been saved for my night. So this judgment we're laying down in the city's gonna look a whole lot better coming from you, guys. Did your boys bring my Isabella to the museum, like I said? Sure, I said right myself, Bruno. She's safe inside. You know you can count on me, big fella. Yeah, so long as I keep supplying the whores and the liquor, right, O'Brien? <laughs> well, here's where you earn all the privileges. I got every gangster in this town and all their bosses bleeding in the gutters when the dawn comes up, you understand? I want to walk out of there carrying my newborn son in my arms like he's a prince. I want to see the stench running right with the blood of my enemies. You got that, Mr. Police Chief? And no playing fair with the mix. Me and Broken Face fit these boys. Have what you might call religious differences. Going back a long time. I'm sure, it's will only be settling old scores. A scum. Good. I want fire and brimstone and devils. I'm a religious man too, see? <laughs> fire and brimstone. No problem. I don't know that I can guarantee any devils, mine, but... There'll be devils. Don't you worry about that. Me and the boys will look after Isabella from now on. You go set new way on fire for me.
right, that's it. You lousy fucking bastard, you're gonna die. I promised you a night to remember, baby. Didn't I promise? Runa, for God's sakes, I need a hospital. Everything's gonna be just right. Right here. This is where you give birth to gods, Isabella. To the sounds of guns and breaking glass. We'll rule forever. You're not gonna leave me, are you, Bruno? I'm gonna leave you a gift, baby. This city, tied in a fucking bow. Us. The new way devil, the monster. It's around here somewhere. The guys say they could smell it. The monster? Get my wife whatever she needs and bring this monster to me. <laughs> and get off. of this city, you ugly son of a bitch!
think that makes you the boss now? Something about this creature was different. Unlike the hunting parties of young males we'd captured before, this one was older, stronger. A veteran of battles we cannot imagine. Unknown battlefields where only the strongest and most savage of killers can survive. I'm a little concerned they may have underestimated the anesthetic dose. And then, as soon as I saw it, I knew. Scarface. After all those years, those decades, how could I ever forget? How could it ever forget what I'd done to it? So Hunter Borgia had succeeded where his father Bruno had failed, conquering the Nui Devil. One hundred years of progress had changed the odds in this little game, and delivered the captive devil here to the birthplace of that progress. It had already seen what humans were willing to do to their own kind in their pursuit of power, twisting the living and cannibalizing the dead to produce the cybernetic enforcers of this new world order. Now it would discover what we had done to its own kind, and its savage code of honor would demand a bloody revenge. So anyway, what could I do? I mean, sure, she's Brad's wife, but I never liked that jerk-off anyway. Boy, she was worth it. I'm telling you. You lucky son of a bitch. You just better pray Brad never finds out. <laughs> like I can. Yeah, I could kick his ass anytime. <laughs>
monsters. Call security! Oh my god! The monsters are escaping!
The only way for you to survive this is to work with me, Lucretia. I don't work with machines. Where's my father? Hunter is preparing himself for his confrontation with the invisible demon. It's just you and I against the demon. What? What do you want me to do? It will try to sabotage the weather devices as soon as we turn them against it. We can't let that happen. Release the experimental hybrids from the labs. It's time we got some use out of them. Good. Now protect yourself, little one. The storm is coming. The scientists saw the weak link now, and they've served their purpose. I'm sure you realize, Lucretia, that the demon used them to bypass the security scanners when it broke out. Order the fastest of the rogues to wipe them out, while the sniper keeps our friend busy.
coming to get me. I need perfume to hide my pheromones. I need an ice suit to cancel out my heat signature. God, I don't want to be cut into pieces. Lady Lucretia, your Ronin bodyguard is skilled in 10,000 ways to kill. The building is protected by snipers and trained assassins who will destroy your enemies without mercy. Nothing that lives can survive our fury. You'd better be right, or you won't survive mine. You always said you'd die to protect me. Well, now's your chance.
take him down! <laughs> 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 Ah! 
are death's messengers. Prepare yourself. somehow. It was only a matter of when and how. The fly comes crawling closer and closer to the center of the spider's web. The creature's moves are so predictable, it made you run so that it could follow your lead directly into the heart of our territory. It made you run. And you did what everyone does when they're in trouble, Lucretia. You ran to mother.
And now here you are at last, my dear. And my story's almost done. Don't you have a kiss for your grandmama? Isabella Borgia? <laughs> this is fucking impossible! You can't still be alive after a hundred years. Did you come to shut me down, take control, sell us out, Lucretia? I know you plan to usurp Hunter. I've been watching you, you know. How like me you are, Lucretia. A schemer, an empire builder. I am nothing like you, and I never will be. You're not even human anymore. Look at you! You're a monster! It's disgusting. I'm much more than human. I am the living brain and nervous system of Neonopolis. I hardly remember where I end and Neonopolis begins anymore. Even the heat of summer is my doing. It was important to make our city a more welcoming environment for our guest. You brought this thing. It was you. You and my father! These creatures have superior genetic material that we can use to clone and make armies, to spawn a thousand children like Hunter, genetically adapted to conquer this world and others in Mother's name. You're insane. If I shut you down, it'll leave us alone. Bruno used to say to me, it's all just jungle, baby. Behind the fancy hotels, the churches and the diamond parlors, it's all just predators and prey. And he was right. The monster is working its way up the food chain. You take over if you like, Lucretia. It'll only hunt you down and kill you. Like it killed Bruno, the god of gangsters. No! I won't let it! <laughs> Bruno? You think that makes you the boss now? Think that makes you the boss now? Are you gonna kill a woman and her baby to prove it? Hunter was a sickly child. I knew it even then. He could never have survived but for the blood. The blood of the predator. That keeps us strong and allows us to live unnaturally long lives. That was the first of the gifts it gave us. And in its desperate attempts to escape from our world, it left behind the others. That's why your father spent his life haunting the world for these creatures. Their technology has made us rich and powerful. Only their lifeblood can keep us alive. You're vampirizing them? You think you've got me just where you want me now, but say hello to my little friends. Have fun together. These nightmare creatures stopped the object of the century of my dreams. I almost felt sorry for the scar-faced predator. Both antagonists shared a purity of purpose and a single-minded ferocity. But while Scarface relied on tools to fight with, the very body and acid blood of these alien fiends were weapons for the kill. 
Now at seventy five per cent. Emergency. Coolant system has failed. Core is operating at unstable levels.
system will result. Mighty Bruno Borgia fathered a stunted weakling who should have died in his mother's arms. But you made him strong. You made all of this, and me. You are the father of Neonopolis, as I am its mother. Can't you see why I brought you here like a flower brings a bee? We only had that one night, but I never did get over you. Genetic augmentation process incomplete. It's coming! I couldn't stop it! It's coming to get us! The same creature that killed Grandfather Bruno! It's still alive! Extreme caution. Genetic augmentation process interrupted.
Congratulations on a successful buyout, Weyron son. A merger with my people here at Yotani would put us both at the forefront of global scientific advancement. Mistress Lucretia was indeed most fortunate to survive this horrific and unprovoked assault on her person. We are gratified that you managed to save as much of her as you were able. She will make an excellent replacement for the original bio hard drive which the monster destroyed. Your gift is most welcome. Thanks to Mistress Lucretia, we now have firm evidence for the existence of alien life and this prototype for the biological 